Hey everybody, welcome back to Evermore. We are back in the Axolotl Kingdom once again, the project that never ends, and we're going to be working on some buildings a little bit later, but first I wanted to get you caught up on some of the things I've been doing in live streams only, so not all of it was necessarily recorded, but I'll just get you caught up on what's been being done around this area. Not much too different from what you can see here, but as we approach the building, I have been working a little bit more on some landscaping. So up here, we just started adding more patches of sand, and it just adds nice bright colors to the whole area, and I'm going to add more. This was just a start, because right now I just got it surrounding this building, and then I did a little bit over here and a little bit more over by the theater that we're going to see in a moment. But here you can see I've also started adding some of the coral gardens to add some color and it does look really, really nice. I'm trying to go with different color schemes so it's not so overwhelming and just a cluttered mess. Although looking at this, this does look pretty cluttered. So I'm not going to do this everywhere. It's okay in a few areas, but I'm not going to do the coral everywhere just because of how cluttered it ends up looking. And over here in front of the blue axolotl house, I did have to put some blue coral gardens in front of it. We can keep working on adding little things like that. I think it adds a whole lot to this area and cleans it up nicely. And going around this corner, I have more sand all around this building, which again makes it stand out and look absolutely wonderful. And then over here, this is the direction of the theater. These are the buildings we are going to be working on. I'm also going to be finally building that tree, but we'll talk about it in just a moment. First, I want to show you all of the upgrades to the theater. This is my favorite part of the whole city so far. We've added a few towers. These are the same towers that appear inside the main building. I'm going to have more of them throughout the city, but for now I just have these ones. And then I've finished um, some of these paths. I added a couple extra paths and then did a couple more coral gardens there in the middle and then once again filled in all of this with sand. It brightens up the landscape, makes the building pop a lot more, not just the nasty gray. And I think this area looks amazing. It's my favorite area so far. And then for this back wall, I just did a plain teal colored wall just to set it apart and add some more color there. I could have done more with it like I did on the other side of the city with a tunnel, but I decided to just keep it like this. This is the next area where we need to add some buildings. I did mark off a few. One, two, three, as you can see. I want to experiment with this tree here. I am still not sure how it's going to look, but I've had these blocks sitting in this shulker box for over a year and I haven't done anything with them. But the whole idea was to do some kind of icicle tree underwater. But now that I look at this, I'm going to have to get a block of some kind to use for the trunk. Maybe diorite? Or maybe blackstone would even look nicer. But we'll have to get something to use for the quote-unquote trunk of the underwater tree. It's actually a water tree, technically, when you think of it being made as ice. An underwater water tree. But... Yeah, we'll make that in a moment. And then we've got at least three buildings I'm going to be making. So it is quite a bit of work. I'll probably work on them in the next live stream. And oh yes, we did add a couple of dolphin pods too over here. Those are always popping up wherever they're needed. Can never have too many of these things. They're just so handy. So I put one there and I put one here. And that is the progress thus far on this area. There's still so much room to expand to and so much more areas to build in. We're far from being finished with this whole kingdom. But I like having these long-term projects like this. It gives me something to slowly work towards. And honestly, I don't really get bored of it. Yes, I might take breaks from it every now and then, but I can always come back to it with some something fresh and new to do and to try. And it's, it's just always interesting, always fun to work on. Now with all of that introduction and review stuff out of the way, we can get to work building this tree and these buildings. This building, 
I fondly call the fidget spinner building. I still don't know what it's going to look like when it's finished. That one too, I kind of have a basic idea in my mind, but right now I just have the foundation shape. And I'm going to make it up from there and we'll see how it goes. That was two weeks worth of live streams, and I think this area is coming together nicely. I do like how this tree turned out. Not typical, I suppose, to see a tree underwater, but it's made out of ice, and I did end up using deep slate for the trunk, and I think it looks really nice, and then of course adding the extra lanterns. And during the time lapse, the time lapse I had for this building was corrupted, so it didn't actually show me building this building, but it is my favorite one of the three new ones that we've added. I think they all look really nice though. None of them really have any furnishings on the inside. They're pretty empty, but again, that's the majority of the buildings in this city. The other thing that I've added outside of the time lapses was these little lamp posts, which kind of look like miniature tridents. It was kind of on purpose, kind of not. But I do like this design and I've been putting them throughout the whole city because I want to put more little decorative things throughout to add more character to the city. I've been trying to go back to areas that I've already built and just add little things like this to improve upon them because not every area is 100% done when I leave it. There's always room for improvement and, and these lamps are just one of the latest improvements. Something else I've added, if you look over this way, I added a larger trident statue in the middle of this area because I've been wanting to put some kind of statue there for a long time and I decided to go with a little trident that I just kind of made up on the spot. I'm not sure how good it looks, but I mean the handle is too short. Aside from that, it's a cute little statue of a trident. I do like how those new buildings look back here in the distance. It really does add some more dimension to this part, it would be nice to put even more buildings along back there. Lots of good progress to this area. This is becoming one of my favorite areas, mainly because of the tree. I'm gonna have to do other types of underwater plants. And I could actually do an actual tree with green leaves, but at the time of me planning to build a tree underwater, when was it? A year ago? I can't remember. When I first wanted to build a tree, it wasn't even an option to waterlog leaf blocks, but now it is, so that opens up even more possibilities for stuff I could do underwater. I just have to uh, think about what those could be. But I do like this. I do like having the ice tree down here. It just seems to fit. Not sure how it can grow like this with it being underwater, but you know, it's, it's all fantasy. It's all fine. And it's all very beautiful. There are some things about the Axolotl Kingdom as a whole that are very, very good. We're making good progress, but then there are some things that are also very disappointing. If you've watched my live streams, you already know this, but the poor axolotls. This is called the Axolotl Kingdom, and look, they're all stuck. And they have been stuck ever since... I can't even remember which update. It might have been 1.18. 
but one of those updates where their pathfinding completely broke and now they all shove their faces into the ceiling here. I'm not really sure where they're trying to go because they're all collecting to this one corner and all trying to go in that direction. And they used to swim around this tank just fine, so I'm not sure what's wrong here, but it's been like this for several updates. And then these blue ones over here have also had issues with their faces being shoved in the corner, and they're also looking in the same direction. But this has been a problem ever since Zax levels were added to the game. I think this their problem has to do with the glass panes and they're trying to pathfind through those. I'm not exactly sure, but yes, the pathfinding for axolotls is broken. And it is a bit sad because my tank over here doesn't look as lively as it used to. It used to have axolotls swimming everywhere, back and forth, but now, now all of their faces are shoved in the corner. And I'm not sure how to fix this, so if anyone has any ideas, let me know. I don't think filling in these corners fixes it because I've tried that. It did nothing. I, I don't know if it's related to the glass. Honestly, I don't know because... Yep, they're just all stuck there. So amid all the positives, there's always some kind of negative, but all the same, I do like how this city is turning out and I can't wait to work on it some more. I have some great ideas and I love seeing all these little areas come together and just look more completed. It really does motivate me to continue. Not that I'm really unmotivated to work on this. It's more of a side project. This whole thing on Evermore, these are just all my side projects I do for fun. I do find them quite relaxing and I enjoy them for that reason alone. Thank you all once again for joining me on this episode. Remember, if you want to see me build stuff in real time and not just these short condensed videos, you can watch my live streams. I try to stream it once a week on Twitch on Saturdays, and that's usually the time for Evermore specifically. And I try to do most of my gameplay on those live streams, but I do like to have these condensed videos too for people that don't have time to watch them and yeah, it's nice to make a record of everything as it progresses. It's really fun. So whether I see you in the next live stream or video, I hope to see you then. Bye!